Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn to Speak Malay Like a Local. My name is Lisa and today I would like to share with you a song that I've been playing on repeat for the past entire weekend and the song is called Impikan by Dola. And don't take my word for it because I've been living under a rock. Uh, I'm not usually exposed to the entertainment side of things but when I saw Dola music video, I was so amazed i thought the production quality is high they're great singers and great dancers they're beautiful and yeah i just want to share what i like with you guys <laughs> i thought this song is really catchy and someone did ask me to do more songs in malay so that they can learn the language and because usually the kind of songs that i listen to are like traditional malay songs so i think it's good to mix it up a little yeah, I've been on a YouTube time sync watching people's reaction to Dola. It was quite interesting. And I saw a need for people to understand the lyrics in Malay. Because they have the English version called Watch Me Glow. And they have the Malay version called Impikan. Which means like to dream, to want something. And these two are not direct translations of each other. The title isn't and neither are the lyrics. So I thought I would try to fill that gap so that people can understand exactly what the Malay lyrics stand for. And fun fact, Dola sounds like dollar, which is money. But based on this interview I saw them in, they said that it's more like hustle, sort of like work hard for whatever it is that you want. And also the doll part is for dolls, like you know, femininity, female, girl power, everything that I like. And the fan base is called Idola. I guess it's a thing now, like you have your favorite groups and then the fan base has their own name as well. Like ARMY is the fan base for BTS and BLINK is the fan base for BLACKPINK. So Idola for Dola, which is kind of cool. Okay, I'm sorry for rambling for so long. Let's get straight into the lesson right now. So what I did is, you can see here, Bayanganya Bermula. And then you have the English translation. That is my personal translation. And then the journey begins, the second line. That one is the English translation that I got from the subtitle from the official video, which I have linked over here. Yeah, in the description and everywhere. In fact, I think it would be great if you can just take like two, three minutes to look at the video first and listen to the song. And then you can come back here and read the lyrics and find out what the translation is if you haven't already and if you are new here in malay this channel is dedicated to teaching people colloquial malay so my pronunciation might automatically go to informal pronunciation but usually in songs or in poetic form malay language becomes formal so if you see a word that ends with the letter a like bayangan nya so formal pronunciation is nya and informal pronunciation is nya. So if I use these two interchangeably like e uh or a, uh, just know that I'm probably confused between formal and informal pronunciation. But in for the song, it is always formal, so it ends as a. Uh. Okay, bayangannya bermula or formal pronunciation bayangannya bermula. And the English translation is the journey begins, which I think is not very accurate because bayangan can be defined as an image that is visible on reflective surfaces like a mirror or you know you see like your reflection on water. So that is bayangan. The second definition, there are many definitions, but these are the ones that I feel are applicable to this particular context. A glimpse of someone or something usually vague or undiscernible, like you see a silhouette of someone. Yeah, just like split second, like that person is there, that person isn't there. That's bayangan. And the third one is something that you imagine or you visualize. So let's say if you miss someone and you think about them in your mind's eye and you see them, that is a bayangan as well. So bayangan nya bermula, nya turns it into a possessive form, like, like the imagery or the vision of someone or something. But this someone of something is not really mentioned. So I don't know who or what this vision is about. And bermula is the beginning or the start of something. And my personal translation is the start or the beginning of a vision. I'm not sure if it's accurate, but I do try to tie in with the official translation, which is the journey begins. I don't know why they chose bayangan. It could have been perjalanan, but I guess bayangan just sounds better. I don't know. Perjalanan is a journey. 
So the different color coding is meant to show you which one is the root word like bayangan and mula and nya and ber are affixes because in Malay we have a lot of prefix, suffix and it changes the meaning of the word. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Ta semanis gula. It means it's not as sweet as sugar. Semanis. Manis means sweet. Semanis as sweet as so it isn't as sweet as sugar, this new journey that they have embarked on. Namun tetap ku cuba. Namun, namun is like even though, tetap, tetap is still. Ku is the short form of aku, which is I. So ku cuba, cuba is try. So even though the beginning of this journey isn't as sweet as I thought it would be, still I forge ahead, still I try. Next one is yang lihat boleh kata. Yang lihat, the ones who are watching, the ones who see. Boleh means can, kata is say. So the ones watching can say, mudah saja semua. Mudah means easy or simple. Saja is only. Like in colloquial Malay, people would say something like, mudah je or senang je. It's just so simple, it's so easy. Mudah saja semua. Everything is so easy. Sukarnya yang dirasa. Sukar is difficult. Sukarnya, nya again, it points to something that is difficult. So I guess the journey is difficult. The difficulty of the journey, sukarnya, yang dirasa, that is felt. So I guess in this entire thing, they're trying to say, you onlookers can say that it's easy because you're just watching. But difficulties are felt because I'm the one doing it. Walau jauh, tetap ku hadapi. Walau is also another word for even though. Jau, far, tetap, still, ku, I. Hadapi is to face or to go through. So even though it's far, still, I face it. Bara di tangan ku genggam rapi. Bara is ember. You know that hot thing? <laughs> Bara di tangan, the embers in my hand. Ku genggam rapi, I grasp tightly. And if you don't understand this particular line, it is because it is a reference to a Malay proverb which sounds like Genggam bara api biar sampai jadi arang So genggam to grasp bara api ember embers of fire biar sampai jadi arang until it turns into charcoal When you do something difficult you need to have determination and focus and commitment It starts with very hot ember and even though it's very hot and it's painful, make sure that you grasp it tight because at the end of it, when you open your hands, it has turned into charcoal. So you have one against this ember, in a sense. <laughs> so doing difficult work, you need to have commitment. Something like that. Oh, no, 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 move along. The next one is, Jika mudah jalan ku kecapi. Jika is if, mudah is easy, jalan is road or journey, ku is I, kecapi. Kecapi means to experience something, but it is very specific to when you have reached your goal. It is used for positive things like happiness or freedom. You don't say kecapi, sadness or depression. So kecapi is only for positive things. The official translation says, if it's meant for me, I will get there. Again, this is another line which I find quite strange. So it sounds to me like it's saying, if the road is easy for me to reach. It's just like an if, there's no explanation. You have the literal translation and you have the official translation. Yeah, you, you decide for yourself. The next one is <laughs> Rola Costa Hidup Di Therapy. In the entire song, this particular sentence to me is the strangest one. Rola Costa is obviously roller coaster. I don't know why it's spelled that way, maybe just because it looks fun. Hidup Di Therapy. <laughs> You know what therapy is? Therapy is therapy. But I have tried so many different variations of translation and I do not think that they mean roller coaster of life is in therapy. It is very strange. So I will assume that therapy here is terapkan but with artistic license because it is way more relevant than therapy. Terapkan can mean to insert something abstract into something, sort of like to instill values into a person or to instill um, methods or good work ethics into an organization. So that is to instill, to terapkan. Terap 
is also a mold sort of like you know like a mold for cookies and it also means to decorate something i'm just reaching out here uh, the translation that they give is life is a roller coaster so i'm guessing it probably means something like life is decorated with a roller coaster of events or roller coaster of life is something that i terapkan that i instill in myself to expect so i guess the translation is not really that far off maybe i'm just reading too much into this and another thing that is strange is de therapy uh, i got all these lyrics from the official video subtitle so in the subtitle it says de therapy so de and therapy are there's a space between them so it means that it is in therapy but if de therapy is together then it becomes like an action of instilling something and it is you know there's there's space in between those two words so i don't know what's going on here maybe <laughs> maybe they need to ask the person who did the subtitle to do better uh, i don't understand what's going on okay let's move on to the next one i think i've spent too long um obsessing over this one i promise you after this it gets much easier it's just in the beginning the song lyrics start out quite strange Okay, jadi dengarkan. So, listen. Dengar is listen. Dengarkan is the action of listening. So, listen. Listen to me. Bila kulafaskan, when I utter, when I when I say something, kata berubah ke nyata. Kata is word, berubah changes, ke is to, nyata is reality. So when I utter these words, it turns into reality. Segala impianmu, segala harapanmu. So segala is all, everything. All your dreams, all your hopes. And impian, dream in Malay is mimpi. So that's like the dream that you have at night. Whereas impian also means dream in English, but this is the kind of dream that you aspire to get your aspirations. Yeah, that's, that's a better word. All your dreams and aspirations. Segala harapanmu. All your hopes. And this is strange as well. I don't know why the translation in English from the official MV is all my dreams and all my hopes. Because I, I listened to them singing. They said segala impianmu. And mu is a short form of kamu, which means you. If it's my hope, then it would be impianku. Segala harapanku. But they said impianmu harapanmu which means your aspirations your hopes bebaskan mindamu bebas is free bebaskan is the action of freeing something minda is mine mu is you so free your mind open up your mind susah senang kita rasa susah is hard difficult senang is easy so both difficult and easy things we feel kita rasa Pada yang tak percaya, to those who do not believe. Pada is like to. Yang is like a connecting word. So you will see a lot of yang in Malay sentences. Tak percaya, don't believe. Just watch me glow. And then the next one, this is the rap portion. Jalan ke depan aku maju. Jalan means two things. One is road and one is the action of walking. So jalan ke depan, the road going forward or i'm walking forward aku maju i advance so maju is to advance tanpa sipu ku bak ratu tanpa is without sipu is shyness or being inhibited sipu so without embarrassment without inhibition i will not i will not be shy or embarrassed ku bak ratu i am like a queen Ratu is queen, ba is light. In Malay, when a word ends with the letter K, typically we pronounce it with the glottal stop. So we don't say bak, we say ba. Ba. You don't need to really expel air when you go like ba. It's like ba. Just ba. Tanpa sipu, ku, ba, ratu. Without hesitation, without shame, I'm like a queen. Aku teraju, ku pelaku aksi. Aku teraju is I am at the helm. Teraju is like a position at the top of something. So you're at the helm of an organization or a leadership. So you're the leader. Ku pelaku aksi. I am the doer of action. Laku is to do something. Pelaku, the prefix pe turns it into a word where it is a person that does something. So I am a doer. Aksi is action. I am a doer of action. 
tanpa segan silu. Without segan silu is a word that we use to describe people who are you know very sort of shy and embarrassed to to do anything. You know they they don't want to overstep their boundaries. They don't want to offend anyone. I quite like this entire set of sentences. They're quite you know quite powerful. Kau tahu tapi apa yang kau mahu? Kau tahu you know. Tapi, but, apa yang kau mahu, what it is that you want, hanya ingin jadi apa yang ku bikin. I only want to be what I I work on. Bikin is to do something. I believe bikin exists exclusively in colloquial Malay, in informal Malay. I don't think this is a proper standard Malay word. It's more like a slang. I only want to be whatever it is that I'm working on. Entertain to entertain, how entity identity ku. Translation is quite straightforward, but what it means, I have no clue. So you are an entity of my identity. I'll leave it up to you to decide what it means. <laughs> Lebih dari apa yang kau nampak. It is more than what you see. Lebih means more. Lebih dari, more than. Apa yang kau, whatever it is that you nampak, see. Terpapar di depan. Terpapar is displayed, usually on a large surface, like a billboard that is terpapar. Di depan, in front. So basically, I am more than what is apparently seen. We ain't the same, I'm not the same now. Jika mudah, ramai dah kecapi. Uh, the earlier one was jika mudah, jalan ku kecapi. This one is jika mudah, ramai dah kecapi. So if it were easy, many would be enjoying it right now. Terus mencuba, pasti menjadi. Keep on trying, it will definitely work. Pasti is with certainty, you're sure. Menjadi is to bear fruit, to become something. Oh na na na. These are the exact same words, so you can look at the explanation that I did before. Because this is the chorus, right? So we're repeating it. The next one is, again, Bebaskan mindamu, susah senang kita rasa, pada yang tak percaya, just watch me glow. Again, the same. Bangunkan hati serta jiwa. Bangunkan is to develop. The word bangun means to get up. From a lying down to a sitting position or from sitting to standing up. So that is bangun. Bangunkan is to make something wake up, stand up, become strong. So you can bangunkan a country to develop and strengthen a country. Bangunkan rakyat to strengthen and develop your people. Hati serta jiwa. Hati is heart, serta is as well as. Jiwa is soul. Develop and strengthen your heart and soul. Usah diragu. Usah is like don't. Diragu is like to doubt something, so don't doubt something. Don't doubt yourself. Tidak pudarkan semangatmu. Tidak pudarkan semangatmu is to not let your spirit or your enthusiasm fade. So semangat is spirit, the fire in you. Sehari lagi, one more day. Hari is day, sehari is one day, lagi is more, so one more day. Same one except that the last sentence is you watch me thrive instead of sehari lagi. And then again, bila ku lafazkan, blah, 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 again the chorus, just watch me glow. Okay, so that's it. I finished translating the entire song. I hope you find this video useful. Yeah, because someone did ask me to translate more Malay songs so that, you know, it's an easier way to learn Malay. And I hope that many people like this song. Variety is the spice of life. If you don't like it, I'll upload other songs in the future. And if you want me to do their debut song called make me wanna dollar make me wanna yeah just let me know i'll happily do it for you guys okay i'll see you again next time so if you like what i'm doing please like share subscribe tell other people about this video and comment down below if you think that i've done anything wrong or if my translation is off yeah let me know your thoughts i'd be very happy to know them okay see you again next time bye